Hey folks, my name is Jonathan. I'm with the House Pro product marketing team. Uh, and today what we're gonna run through is how to get set up with your estimates by setting up a template and then applying that template to an individual job. How that works together with takeoffs, so to get a bill of materials to put into your template, uh, sorry, your estimate, excuse me. And then ultimately what you can do to send a really professional estimate to your clients and get awarded more jobs. So this is my project dashboard. If you're new to house, it might look a little bit better than this. But to get to templates, what we'll do is go to the company in the left hand rail and you've then got the global template. So you've got everything in here from documents, 3D schedules and mood boards, more to be added. For our purposes today, we wanna to go to the documents. So you can create a template from scratch, but often I find there's nothing worse than staring at a blank page. So what we've done is we've created a couple of templates up at the top here. Um, what you can do is apply it to your account and adjust it to suit how you work. So we've applied the kitchen and bath remodel template. And what you can do is duplicate and edit that template and it will apply it then to your account. Here's where we can start to edit it to make it bespoke specifically for your company. So when you go to the settings, you can choose exactly what columns you want to be seen on the estimate. You can also create a custom column and arrange that anywhere on the estimate you want. Keep in mind, you can always change this at a later point. Then I recommend that you change the name of the template. Again, just to fit your own style, kitchen and bathroom remodel, rose construction. So now we can get into editing the actual line items as well as some of the costs. So again, this is only our suggestion. So maybe demolition isn't something you guys do. Simply check the box, right click, and then you have the option to remove it. Again, you can do it on a per line item basis. And then you're also obviously able to add your own bespoke line items. You can create them from scratch, simply typing in the line item themselves. But a lot of our customers have already been familiar with Excel and are using something similar to what you see on your screen here. So go to your Excel template, copy the line items you want to see in your new template. And when you paste them in here, you'll be given the option to create five additional line items or 50 additional line items. So that'll just speed that whole process up. But also if you don't have an Excel template, no problem at all. You just simply type in the names and click enter and they will be there for you. So when you do bring them in off an Excel template or whatever, it's important for you to set the unit of measurement. So, you know, is it square foot, linear foot, cubic yards, pieces, tons, whatever that might be. Again, totally up to you. You can even set custom units of measurement as well. Um, and then to keep in mind for the template, if you set uh, a labor and a material right here, they'll be applied to your individual estimates going forward, but you can always change them on a per project basis as material prices increase or as you know uh, the job dictates. If you want to update the templates going forward, you just come back into that template, uh, global template with the documents, update the pricing, and then every template you apply going forward will be updated. One thing to note is that as you go, your progress will be saved, so you no need to worry about hitting the save button. One thing you can also attach to your template is your terms and conditions. These tend to be the same for every estimate you send out. So you can just write them here once and again, they'll be applied to every individual job going forward. One thing I like to do is drag the memo here up to the top. Again, you can rearrange everything uh, as suits you. And once you have that up here, you can rename it your cover note or inclusions and exclusions. This tends to be quite bespoke again, depending on the job. So what you can do is just have it up here and on the per job basis, write your cover note uh, to your clients. This is the legwork you can do to make your overall experience using House Pro a lot better for you as a customer. It's gonna take you a little bit of time to do it, but once you get it set up right, 
you're going to be able to churn out estimates really quickly. While we're talking about doing some legwork, another thing that you can do that's really going to enhance your experience is set up your online payments with House. To do that, go to your settings and then go to online payments and you can follow the very simple steps to set up these payments. What this will allow you to do, and I'll show you in a few minutes with the estimate, is request payments directly from your clients through House, making it a good experience for them and getting you paid faster. So now that we're happy with our template, we're gonna apply it to an individual job. So I have the O'Brien residence here. Simply click estimate in the left-hand rail here, and there's no estimates in here, so what we can do is in the top right corner, click start new estimate. Again, we can start from scratch, upload say a PDF that you already have, or we can choose from a template. And we see there the most re recent one, kitchen and bath, that's the one we just created, and apply it to this particular job. So we see everything that we've created in the template. Now imagine you created that template a year ago and you're just still applying it to individual jobs and you're able to just quickly come in and delete certain categories, maybe they don't apply to this job, add additional categories and additional line items. It's totally bespoke. By changing it in an individual job, it will have no impact on the template. Uh, so you can really make it your own here again. By checking the boxes on the individual line items and going over to the far left, you can then remove all of the line items and by clicking the plus just beside it, you can add uh, additional line items to a category. So this is how the takeoffs now comes into this. By looking at your drywall, you can see what square footage we need to determine for our ceiling and our wall insulation, uh, our external wall insulation, our corner beads. So what we'll do now is go back to the project overview page and into the takeoff itself. I've already got a takeoff loaded up, but if you don't, uh, really easy to just follow the steps, upload your PDF drawings, and you'll be taken to the takeoff canvas. If you recall, one of the line items that we need to get a quantity measurement for is our wall insulation as well as our ceiling insulation. So we're gonna do that here on the takeoff. For the wall insulation, what we're gonna do is select our length. What we can then do is create a new group, wall insulation, and add it to that category, drywall. Let's give it a color for the canvas. Uh, and we can also add it to our favorites. If this is something you're adding for the first time, uh, to your takeoffs, you can add it to your favorites so that it's there for you every time you upload a takeoff. Once we have all of that created, what we can do is go around uh, getting the perimeter of the walls on the plans. So click to drop a mark or change direction and double click to finish the measurement. You'll see all of the measurements appearing in the measurements drawer on the, the right hand side there. Once we're finished, what we can do is add a height to the measurement. And what that's gonna do is give us our total square footage for our wall insulation. We can then do the same with the ceiling area. Same process, give it a group name, add it to your drywall, give it a color. You can then use the rectangle tool and that's simply click, drag and drop to get the entire ceiling there that we're gonna to need to insulate for this project. So you can get all of your material takeoffs done here on the canvas and in a minute I'm gonna show you how you can send that to your estimate. Um, what you can also do is clone a page with or without measurements. When you do that, you'll be able to have a fresh page with which to do a separate takeoff on. We're gonna rename the first page drywall and the second page here carpentry. Uh, in the drop down menu, we go to the carpentry category and then you'll see I have framing here and we're just gonna get the lineal footage of our framing that we need to do for this house. So you can really break up your takeoffs. The more you label things, the easier it's gonna be for you to follow at a later stage and just keep everything neat and tidy. 
Also, one thing I should mention is that any work you do here on the canvas will be available to you in the download of PDF. So you'll see all of your work that you've done with a legend. You can send that to your clients, you can send it to subcontractors, and it really helps uh, to communicate exactly what needs to be done on the job. So once you're happy, you hit review and estimate. Once you get to this page, you'll be able to review all of the material takeoffs that you've done on the canvas. You can see here I've only done a few material takeoffs uh, as an example, uh, but you can imagine if you've done an entire project, this page will be full. So up in the top right, we have create estimate. When you hit that, you'll see in the drop down new estimate or duplicate and edit. If we want to add our measurements to an already existing estimate that we've created, we want to duplicate and edit it. Then what we can do is add it to the most recent estimate we have, which is obviously typically the one that we want the most recent measurements to go into. Best practice is then to rename the current estimate. So again, going back to what I was saying, the more you label things, the clearer that's going to be uh, going forward. So in this example, we're going to name it May 2024. Uh, and then if we make updates to it later in August, we're just going to rename it that. Uh, and so it's really clear where we are in the project, what's the most recent and up to date uh, estimate or document that we have. So here you can put in your cover letter. This is just letting the clients know what you've included and what you haven't included. You can also put in documents like the marked up PDFs you've taken from the canvas. And also you can send across your estimated schedule. So you can give them a rough timeline of how long it's gonna take you to do the job and show them all of the components of that process. Then you can make sure everything that you want to include is there, including the updated material takeoff from the canvas. Another great feature with the house estimating is setting up a schedule of payments. So you can set out exactly how many payments you want, give them uh, names like deposit, milestone one, etc. And when you send this to the client, they'll receive the schedule of payments and they'll get a really good understanding of when bills are due. Also, if you recall earlier when I was suggesting you set up your payments on house, this will allow your clients to pay you directly through house by either credit card or bank transfer. So you won't have to be waiting for checks to clear and it just makes the whole process very seamless and easy to use. Again, making for a great experience for everybody. You're ready to send out the estimate. You can hit the preview button up in the top right. You'll see all of your company information complete with your logo and all of the client's information as well. On the preview page, you'll be able to hit the drop down settings. Here you'll be able to choose what the client sees and doesn't see. So if you don't want to show them the individual line item pricing, you just want to do it by categories, you can absolutely do that here. It's again, totally up to you how you want to send this to your client. Once we've given it the final once over and we're happy to send it, you can download it as a PDF, get a shareable link, or send it directly from your House Pro account. If you do that, your clients will receive an email from you, complete with all of your company logos and information. They click view estimate and it will appear exactly as you've sent it to them. In this video, I've gone over how you can set up your templates, apply them again and again to individual projects and even making them bespoke per project. And then how the estimate and the takeoff tool interact with one another, making it so much quicker for you to be able to get your bill of materials and add it to your estimates. Then creating a bespoke estimate that you'll be able to send to your clients, filling them with confidence and knowing that you're the right professional for the job. I hope you found this helpful. We have a team of customer support reps that are dying to help you out. Please get in touch if you have any questions or want to go into more detail on any of what we've discussed here.